I am a grade 10 student. Here I am a part of Student Senate and Student Council. Our goal for Student Senate is to uh, promote equality, diversity, and inclusion. So what I have been doing is I have been um, showing the grade 7 and 8 students here along with some Northern, College, uh, Northern College staff uh, how we can be more inclusive in the different identities a part of the 2S LGBTQIA plus community. Because it's very important to know what they are, how we can support them, and how we can be more inclusive uh, with such a large community that is a part of different schools and different communities. So, to start off, uh, we're going to look at the different definitions of the 2S LGBTQIA plus. Keep in mind, there are many different uh, labels, um, different sexual orientations, different genders. These are more of the, um, I'm not going to say like popular, but more common uh, around our community and most known around our community. So starting from the 2S all the way to the plus, we have two spirit. Two spirit refers to a person who identifies as having both a masculine and a feminine spirit, and it is used by some indigenous people to describe their sexual, gender, and or spiritual identity. So um, anyone who is part of the 2S LGBTQIA plus community and is indigenous uh, can identify as two spirit. It's more used as an acronym or it can be um, an identity if an indigenous person has both a masculine and feminine spirit. Um, next, we have a lesbian. A lesbian is someone who is non-man, who is sexually, romantically, and or emotionally attracted to other non-men people. Now, when we say non-men, we mean, uh, well, non-men. So someone, so someone who is non-binary can also be a lesbian, but you just cannot identify as boldly a man and you can't be a lesbian. If you're, if you're a man, you can't be a lesbian, but anyone else can be identified as a lesbian. Uh, what is gay? Someone who is gay is a non-woman who is sexually, romantically, and or emotionally attracted to other non-woman people. So again, the complete opposite. Uh, someone who is a woman can't be gay, but non-binary people can't identify as gay. And we have bisexual. A bisexual person is sexually, romantically, and or emotionally attracted to more than one particular gender. Usually, uh, both these genders are male and female, but it could be others, uh, depending on the person's preference. What is transgender? Transgender is when a person has a gender identity or gender expression that differs from the sex that they were assigned at birth. So if they were born and uh, they had the genitals of a female uh, and then they grew up and they realized, no, they were a male, uh, they would be transgender. And the same thing, vice versa. Sometimes transgender people have to get surgery to feel more comfortable with their body, but they don't have to get surgery because uh, either way they can still identify as transgender and be the um, uh, gender that they feel. We have queer. Uh, queer is an umbrella term for people who are not heterosexual or are not cisgender. So an umbrella term is like uh, math. And then in math, there's different uh, different types of maths and the more specific types. But in general, you can just call it math. So the same thing here. Someone can be queer, but there's different types of queerness and different queer identities. So someone can be gay and then also identify as queer. And what is questioning? Questioning is a person who is questioning one's sexual orientation, sexual identity, gender, or all three. It is a term for people who are unsure about their label. Uh, so if they're un if someone's unsure and they're questioning their identity, they can identify as questioning until they figure out who they are. Intersex. Intersex people are individuals born with any of several sex characteristics, including chromosome patterns, gonads, or genitals that do not fit the typical binary notions of male or female bodies. So intersex is actually the third sex. We have male, female, and intersex. These are the three sexes you can be born. Uh, intersex people can be born with rather male and female. Uh, this is an ex as an example, uh, male or female genitalia, but could have chromosomes or even um, grow up and go through uh, puberty as 
the opposite. What is asexual? Asexuality is the lack of sexual attraction to others or lower absent interest in uh, desire for sexual activity. Uh, it does not matter what your sexual orientation or your gender is. This is sexuality. So sexuality also consists of aromantic um, and likewise alloromantic. Um, asexual people, they don't feel the desire to do sexual activity. And then aromantic people, they don't have a desire to do romantic activity, um, but they can also identify as gay or straight or um, non-binary, etc. And then we're going to look at some of the plus identities. These are more of the common plus identities. So like I said, there is aromantic. Aromantic is an orientation in which people do not experience romantic attraction. So doing romantic things, doesn't matter what gender or what sexual orientation you are, you can identify as aromantic. And we have demisexual, so it's like asexual, but demisexual people only feel sexually attracted to someone when they have an emotional bond with the person. Uh, they can be gay, straight, bisexual, or pansexual, like I said before, and maybe any gender identity. So they only develop sexual attraction to someone if they've known them for a long time or if they have that emotional connection with them. And same thing with aromantic. Um, a demi-romantic person is someone who only develops romantic feelings for another person when they have a strong emotional connection to them. What is pansexual? Pansexuality is sexual, romantic, and or emotional attraction towards people regardless of their sex or gender identity. So for a pansexual person, they may, um, it doesn't matter what gender they are, um, they will date someone or be interested in someone or attracted to someone based on the person they are. It does not matter what gender they are. Uh, non-binary. So the top flag is a non-binary one and the bottom one is the genderqueer one. Uh, non-binary or genderqueer is an umbrella term for gender identities that are neither male or female identities that are outside the gender binary. So like queer, it can also be used as a, an umbrella term, but uh, people can definitely identify as non-binary. Just same thing as queer. Um, and then finally, what is gender fluid? Gender fluidity refers to a change over time in a person's gender expression or gender identity or both. That change might be an expression but not identity or an identity but not expression or both expression and identity might change together. Gender fluidity can consist of being different genders at once and changing depending on how the individual feels. So in other words, uh, my best example for this one would be um, apple juice, orange juice, uh, someone who's gender fluid uh, may wake up and as an, ex as an example, may wake up and feel to that they feel like drinking apple juice. And the next day they may feel like drinking orange juice. Next day, maybe they feel like something more neutral. Uh, so they'll drink water. Maybe the next day they'll uh, drink a combination of a few of them. Maybe the next day they'll drink neither. So someone who is gender fluid, uh, their gender constantly changes. So it's more like a fluid than how you would desire drinks. Uh, with someone being gender fluid, their pronouns can also change. They don't have to. I'm gender fluid and I keep my pronouns at she, they, him but uh, their pronouns can change. So maybe one day, this is only, they can change in like an hour or a week, but maybe one day they feel like using he, him pronouns, and the next day they feel like using she, her, maybe a combination of both, she, they, or even all three, she, they, she, they, he. And then finally, how we can support the 2S LGBTQIA plus and students. Respect people's pronouns or how they might want to be referred. So some people have preferred pronouns. Uh, definitely use those pronouns, even if you're not comfortable with them, you should use the pronouns and they may have a preferred name. So use the preferred name as much as possible. If you um, misuse a pronoun or don't use a pronoun correctly for someone, you just quickly apologize and then continue on. You don't have to make a big deal about it. Learn and advocate. So the best way and easiest way I find to advocate for um, the 2S LGBTQIA plus uh, community is to post on social media the latest news, the uh, 
the best things, um, how in like different ways we can support and what this is, and then other otherwise like teach people what different identities are and how they can support them as well. Treat people with dignity and respect, uh, respect people as much as possible. Definitely stand up for people. If you know there is an area where people are targeting these people, it's best to advocate and teach people about this community. And then finally, celebrate others for who they are. Uh, if someone comes out to you or you know someone who is part of the community, definitely celebrate them and encourage them to keep being who they are because who they are is very important.